What's up Maniacs, my name is Mex, I'm a wrestling fan, a wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac if you will and today we are here to talk about Tommaso Ciampa winning the NXT title. We knew we were going to get a fatal four-way for the NXT title on this show. It was only supposed to be for the number one contendership but obviously on Sunday Samoa Joe dropped the NXT championship. So it was supposed to be Tommaso Ciampa versus Pete Dunne versus Kyle O'Reilly versus LA Knight. On NXT we saw Pete Dunne and Ridge Holland before the Fatal 4-Way take out Kyle O'Reilly backstage and therefore Kyle O'Reilly could no longer compete. Thrown into the fray was NXT Performance Center talent Von Wagner. We have seen this guy on NXT TV before, maybe even WWE TV, doing security jobs, this, that and the other, in the back. He is now an NXT superstar. He actually came to make the save of Kyle O'Reilly getting beaten up in the back and William Regal rewarded him for that by putting him into this fatal four-way match for the championship. And the minute that happened, my heart dropped. I thought, oh my God, on this new NXT 2.0, are they gonna try and create a star overnight by putting the championship on him? We finally get to the match. And to be honest, this match was the best action we saw on the show. Typical NXT putting on really, really good matches. And Von Wagner, although his appearance looked very bland and yeah, I'm just starting, this is my first day in wrestling sort of thing. That's how he looked. He actually was pretty good. He had an impressive Olympic slam during the match. However, Tommaso Ciampa used a fairy tale ending, pinning LA Knight to become the NXT champion. Winning back this title that I don't think he actually lost when he last dropped it because he went away for injury. So this was absolutely great i would have loved pete dunn to win but champa the whole crowd was happy but it didn't take long for my senses to kind of come back to normal and i realized maybe this is what they're doing here i'm going to kind of tell you guys my thoughts on that in just a second as well as give some of my opinions on nxt 2.0 in just a sec so stay tuned Right here at WrestleManiac UK, I'll discuss everything that's WWE and AEW. So if this sounds like the place for you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's talk about it. Tomasa Ciampa wins the NXT title. So like I said, Champa's win was really good. Not the result I was necessarily wanting or expecting, but I thought, cool, Champa, this is someone that they can definitely rely on. He is NXT through and through. This guy is like, honestly, the NXT flag bearer right now. He loves it, call him Mr. NXT, like he says. But with all that being said, what does Champa represent? The old NXT, Triple H's NXT. And when it sunk in for me, I literally realized this is Vince and Bruce Pritchard or whomsoever maybe burying that last guy, that standard bearer, the guy that waves the flag for NXT. This is them now giving him the funeral and giving the old NXT the funeral, basically. Burying, not in that sense, but basically this is a clean slate. From the minute our new guy pins Champa, this is really the announcement of a brand new NXT. And who is that new guy that's going to pin Champa for this NXT title? Well, it is pretty early to tell, but Bron Breaker, he looks like he's being positioned very, very well for this. Bron Breaker, the son of Rick Steiner. He had the name Rex Steiner. I don't know why they've changed it to this Bron Breaker thing. Rex Steiner is a phenomenal name for a wrestler, but here we are, it's WWE. Bron Breaker actually had the opening match on this new NXT 2.0 against LA Knight. And yeah, LA Knight pulled double duty on the night, so kudos to him. Bron Breaker had a phenomenal appearance. He looks very ready to go. He's a Steiner after all, so I wasn't surprised at how good he was from the jump. His character is a bit funny, it's a bit like happy-go-lucky, but then when he gets into the ring, very serious, which, I'm not too sure about. I guess we'll kind of wait for a couple of weeks to see how it plays out. But in the ring, he done the business. He made LA Knight look like a jobber, like little food for him sort of thing. So yeah, he made a really impactful start to this new era of NXT. And then at the end of the show, when we saw Champa backstage watching the Index wedding, which we'll talk about very shortly, Ron Breaker approached him to kind of say, congrats on winning the title. Tommaso Ciampa said, yeah, and congrats to you getting your first win on NXT in your first match. But as Ciampa was offering his hand to kind of greet him, handshake and all of that, we saw Bron Breaker really staring at the NXT title. Ciampa noticed him. They shook hands, 
but this is what is going to make everyone think that you know Bron Breaker is next up. They are positioning him very well. The first man in the new era to get a win, the first performance center talent to kind of get a win over a big name in LA Knight. And now he went straight from there to the end of the show, closing the show with the champion. Bron Breaker might be the next guy. It's looking a bit obvious at this point, maybe. I do fear for guys like Pete Dunne, where, you know, he's just signed a new contract. We all thought this is definitely going to be Pete Dunne's crowning moment. After all, Pete Dunne is a smaller guy. And again, he is part of the old regime. So it will be interesting to see where he ends up. Kyle O'Reilly just taken out of this match. I'm not into the cool cow stuff at all, if I'm completely honest. So I didn't particularly mind, but it's still very, very harsh. And there is still a whole host of other names of the old NXT regime. We are yet to see what the future is for them. Just to talk on NXT 2.0 quickly as a whole new kind of presentation. I loved the arena. This is what I've been crying out for for so long, especially since it turned to the CWC. Thank God they've dropped that. The arena is brilliant. It looks like an actual wrestling arena again. The whole presentation looks pretty much big time, like pretty much like a solid promotion, not necessarily like a developmental. And I'm really enjoying the mix of the performance center guys actually just you know being promoted straight to the main show we saw a lot of them on this show mixing it up with some of the more established wrestlers of the older regime i really liked it you know some people might think it's too early for some of them we did see some missteps in performance whether that was in the ring or on the mic there were some bits that can still be better can still improve but after all NXT is no longer the place for the indie wrestler. They need to turn NXT into this whole developmental system again, which it kind of lost its roots. So we're going to see more of this. They are learning on live national TV. That is what it is now. One thing I'm still not very keen on was the whole colours and everything. It doesn't look very much like a wrestling show. I do think, you know, WWE in their branding have been very, very good over the years. Raw, red and black and a bit of white. Smackdown, blue and white. You know, just stick to maybe two, three colours at max and let's just go with it. And three colours that go together, not just these random splashes of like tie-dye colour. I don't think it really works. I don't think it really says wrestling, but... Yeah, I'm very intrigued on what NXT 2.0 is doing. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I might have jumped the gun and, you know, made some insults about this and that. So far, I was happy with what I saw last night and I'm looking forward to next week. And of course, we got our splash of sports entertainment with the whole index wedding. Very good stuff. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was just ridiculously brilliant. You know, everyone kind of got their bits. Even again, Performance Centre guests that were in attendance if you like they got their bit to kind of shine and kind of put some light on them i thought it was just very very well done and the wedding went through with no hiccups like absolutely crazy for a wwe wedding for that to happen a wrestling wedding in general so yeah index are married champa is champion nxt 2.0 is a horrible name and i hope they drop those numbers after nxt very very soon but yeah, it's a new era, so I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to embrace the change and see where it goes. Give it a few weeks, people. You know, there's still going to be some teething issues. So you know what time it is down below in the comments. Hit me up. Let me know what you thought of Champa becoming champion. Thoughts on NXT 2.0 in general. Let's talk about it. Like I said, I think it's made a really good start, but there is still a long road to getting some of these guys and girls ready for the main stage of WWE, but at least I'm hoping there's going to be some continuity because Vince McMahon has his hands on NXT and on the main roster. Hopefully everything will start making a bit more sense. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We're nearly at 500 subscribers, guys. I'm very, very grateful. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Subscribe to the WrestleManiac YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video. WrestleManiac UK signing out and I'll see you soon.